Hey folks, Mark here at Whiskey Whistle, your wise choice in independent whiskey and spirits reviews. Today on Whiskey Whistle, we'll be looking at Tom and Towel 16, as well as pouring the Tom and Towel 25 to prepare for its review. Now, if you have seen the previous Tom and Towel, we'll call that a, uh, a disjoint series on the channel, you'll know that I've reviewed the 10 year old as well as a few 12 years old, 12 year olds from now and also from previous years. So we'll get that opened. The 16 year old and also the 25. And yes, if you're wondering why there's some gone already, maybe I'll just stick out that 10 over here just for show. Uh, that's because I botched a review. Yes, I did. I have to stop doing reviews in the middle of the night. That was about 5 a.m. and it was terrible. I might throw a few choice bloopers at the end of, uh, of this show after the, the, the credits, okay? Now we're going to use the standard Glencairn for the 16 and we'll use uh, my, well, Highland Park uh, Copita glass for the 25. After I pour it, I'm going to set them aside because I want to make sure they have enough time to breathe to maximize the flavors and maximize the smells from the whiskey. All right. So Tom and Towel, 16 year old, this is a Speyside whiskey from Scotland. It's a Scotch whiskey, a single malt Scotch whiskey. And 16 years old, I believe, matured exclusively in um, bourbon barrels, ex bourbon barrels. Let's get that poured. And I'm going to try to save just a little bit, okay? I'm afraid I have to save a little bit because I want to have a finale for Tom and Towel at the end, maybe in January sometime. Um, so as I mentioned, we've got the 25-year-old here. So we'll get that poured right now. And we're not quite done with Tom and Tell you. We'll still have with a PD Tang coming up. And I think that's going to be something you'll want to watch. All right. So in it goes. And this one also, we're going to hold back uh, a fair bit so that I can do a finale. Now, I don't get many chances to review 25 year old whiskey, so I'm very excited about this one. Now, this also, I have a feeling, is all bourbon cask. So I think the entire range here is all bourbon. I may have to check that. Smells that way. Oh, does that smell nice. Wow, wow. Okay, should we give it a quick whiff before we break? Oh, these are beautiful. These are just wonderful. I'm going to put a lid on them, makeshift lid. These are some very handy porcelain, not quite plates, but little things that work quite well. Uh, I had a nice glass uh, topper. Unfortunately, I broke it. Put one on there too. Hopefully we don't destroy either the plate or the glass. Ooh, that's pretty precarious. Okay. All right, so we'll see you back very soon. Welcome back. All right, now Tom and Tao, 16 year old. Let's look at that now. I've had the lid on it for a little while. So before we look at the color, let's give it a little bit of a smell. Just take off the lid quickly and give your whiskey a whiff if you've put a cover on it. Just very lightly though. Oh, it is gorgeous. This is a very, very lovely whiskey. All right, let's take a quick look at the color here. You know, it's just a straight up golden hue, isn't it? Very nice. What color do you see there? And for me, yeah, I'm just getting a nice standard, uh, almost a pure gold color, the color of pure gold. Maybe slightly less, maybe like an 18K. All right, so 18K gold is the color. And we'll have a quick look at the legs. Let's roll it around. And here we are. Now, isn't that odd? Those are very, very fast legs. All right, now let's come back to the nose a little bit. The coconut and the tropical fruit. A little bit of orange. And then a nice backbone of vanilla. Really lovely. All right, now let's get into the taste. Cheers, everybody.
Hmm. Hmm, this is such a sweet, rich dram. Those tropical fruits have carried through into the palate. Hmm. And there's a lovely bit of brown sugar and caramel and vanilla. Now, interestingly, the finish is outstanding. Those tropical fruits really, really come out. I'm also getting some Christmas candies, you know, the multicolored ones, not necessarily, not necessarily mint. Hmm. Hmm. Now it's still quite light. This is definitely not a uh, powerhouse whiskey in terms of the strength of the flavor but what it is it's a subtle performer it's presenting you with flavors that you may not be fully familiar with uh, but they really come together here this is something that you would want to maybe have at the beginning of your night of dramming And make sure you keep that in your mouth for a while. They say 16 seconds. Let's give that one more try. Mmm. Some spices come out. A little bit of cinnamon. A touch of ginger. And in the finish, again... That's my favorite part of this whiskey is the finish. We have got all of those flavors working very long. I still feel them, feel them in my mouth. I'm also getting something kind of like a, um, a fruit soda pop. Mm, I don't want to say it's not quite like um, cream soda. Maybe cream soda-esque. That kind of a strawberry, uh, fruity sort of bubbly flavor very little dryness, mostly sweet, a slight bit of tartness, but it's really a very sweet whiskey. Very nice. Now I've not got much left there, but let's add just a touch of water just to see if anything interesting happens. I think just one or two drops will do, given I've only got uh, just a little bit left. There, there we go. A little bit more of the wood comes through here. That's really interesting. And I can tell it's going to be drier. Interestingly, it does get a bit drier with water added. The finish also. A little bit more of that, um, that soda pop kind of uh, tickle. Hmm, gorgeous. All right, well, the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey Score, let's get on to that now. The Whiskey Whistle Whiskey Score for Tom and Towel, the Gentle Dram, 16-year-old. What's that going to be? It's going to be 87 out of 100. 87 out of 100 is the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey Score for Tom and Towel, 16-year-old. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Stay tuned for the next one. That's going to be the 25-year-old. We'll put that rate in succession. Hope you can stay tuned for that, and we'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching Whiskey Whistle. Be sure to subscribe, and don't forget to give this video a like, and leave a comment down below. Be sure to stay tuned next time to join me, the host of the show, Mark, as I explore more whiskeys with you. Take care now, and we'll see you next time.